Right now, large groups of activists are gathering to get their message across at the DNC. That includes the coalition to march on the DNC. They are calling for an end to military aid to Israel in the war against Hamas. Our Darius Johnson is live in Union Park now with their protest plans. Darius. Yeah, good morning. I can tell you that press conference just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago and there is a brief intermission before they get ready to step foot from Union Park. Take a look behind me. There are possibly hundreds here who are ready to make their voices heard. Now those marching are members of the coalition to march on the DNC. It is comprised of 270 organizations that stand with Palestine while calling for the U.S. to end its aid to Israel. Members of this group are also fighting for the rights and liberation of the oppressed. And here at Union Park, they are preparing to make their voices heard loud and clear with an amplified speaker system and a stage. Here's what a spokesperson said about the number of people who will be here now that Kamala Harris is the Democratic nominee as opposed to President Biden. We, we won't know that for a couple more hours, but we still think there's going to be thousands of people here, maybe tens of thousands throughout the week. You know, we said from day one, nothing's changing, um, you know, all, all full steam ahead. While the protest here begins at noon, they say they won't step off from Union Park until about 1 or 1.30. The goal is to get within sight and sound of the United Center. We're live in Union Park this morning. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS News, Chicago. Darius, thank you.